so we have the new update that's just come out from a Gemini CLI. So if you're not familiar with what this is, very similar to Claude code and that sort of thing, you basically code from your terminal using Gemini CLI. It's an open source project and basically gives you like an AI coding agent directly on your laptop. We're going to be testing out today, seeing how it performs, seeing how it goes, etc. And it's going to be very interesting to test this out and just give it a cheeky. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look, first of all, what this is, how it works, etc., how to set it up. And then we can just run a few tests on it, a few basic tests. So you can basically get a AI studio account, which is free. And then you can see here, you get 1000 model requests per day. 60 requests per minute is open source and is free of charge before anyone says it's not free inside the comments it is free and you can see it right here and basically it runs in the command line so you can basically open up with terminal i believe and then you can even like do google searches and that sort of thing which is pretty cool so you can see a little demo of how it works here what's interesting is i think you can actually connect it to imagen and also veo3 from the demo which is really cool and i know Claw code has been trending like crazy recently so it's going to be interesting to see how this performs versus this as well and you can also use it with gemini code assist as well inside visual studio code here's an example of what it looks like so to get started you can just install gemini cli all you need is an email address to get gemini and then the way that you can use it is through github all right by the way if you want like all this stuff i'll put the links as we go along inside the ai success lab so let's do that Get this bad boy set up so link in the comments description to the ai success lab and we can start getting this set up so let's see tips for getting started blah 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 and joe says is this a real julian it is indeed in the flesh unlike my recent videos on youtube so it's a rare appearance from me my ai avatar seems to be outperforming me on youtube which is scary and crazy at the same time and too dirty says did they release an ai agent that's open source and free yeah so you can see on github this is gemini cli very similar to code as well to claw code and you can also use mcp servers as well which is interesting i haven't tested that out yet either but it's gonna be yeah there's a lot of cool stuff right here so let's have a look so we need node.js version 18 or higher i'll put that inside the links as well and then what else do we need? I think we're good to go on that. I think I've got Node.js already. So now we just need to copy this command. So I'm on a Mac. I'm just going to open up the terminal here. And then we should be able to paste this in. Let's see what happens. Tudor, it says, I installed Gemini CLI thinking it was some sort of AI agent. It is an AI agent. It's just more, it's more like a coding agent. That's basically what it is, but it is an agent. Yeah, for sure. So we can select the theme here. We've got Dracula, D4, etc. So it's, it's incredibly easy to set up, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. And then you can put in your API key for Gemini, or you can use Vertex, or you can just log in with Google. Let's log in with Google. Let's log in right here. And that should be set up now. So it says Gemini code assist and the Gemini CLI now authorize you access your account. The ease of just setting this up is beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. So let's just check. Are you working, mate? And it says, yes, how can I help? And so it's working perfectly right there, which is great. Incredibly easy to install. Or you can use npm install as well. Pick a th color theme, authenticate, boom. Honey Fungus says it can do anything. Has access to your file system. So you can do more than write code. They can build up a knowledge space, etc. Yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? So you can do a lot more. Uh, I mean, you can see a couple of examples right here, right? So you can say command, new project, Gemini, write a new discord bot that answers questions using an faq md file that i will provide what else we got here give me a summary of all the changes that went in yesterday and that's for the existing project right so what you can see here is this it's essentially taking the github project then you command gemini coi gemini and then get a summary what else we got here describe the main pc of systems architecture what security mechanisms are in place help me migrate this code base this is interesting as well. So it's made me a slide deck showing the Git history from the last seven days grouped by feature and team member. 
or make a full screen web app for a wall display to show our most interactive issues. This is interesting, isn't it? Let's see if we can work on an existing project here. Two dirty says, can I use it to fix broken video files? Interesting. I don't know. All this, this only just came out a few hours ago, so it'd be interesting to test out yourself and just see, okay, what can it do or how can it work, etc. So let's see if we can actually make a slide deck here. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm just going to allow always. In the meantime, whilst that's doing that in the background, let's have a look what people are using it for on Twitter. See what people are saying. It's always a fun game. So write code, debug and automate tasks. What else we got here? See what people are doing. Lots of Japanese stuff. Coding. Oh, someone did a coding royale battle. Look at that. Claude code, anon code, codex, open code, am code, and Gemini. And then just had six different terminals running with the coders, which is pretty crazy. Look at that. So someone's testing like Gemini versus codex versus Claude code as well. There's me or the avatar version of me. There's me again. All right, let's, I can't see anything that people built with this. Generate a slide deck. Okay, let's see what we can do. Generate a slide deck based on the GitHub. And actually what we'll do is we'll paste in that command. There's a test run inside GitHub. Let's just grab that. Here we go. Can I use it to create a Telegram bot that accepts payments? That's an interesting one as well. And then Honey says that battle royale one with the six coders, the instruction was to terminate the other AI assistance. Crazy. It's got the git history from the command that we ran earlier, right? So you can see basically what we've said is use this GitHub, then from there navigate to that, blah, blah, blah. And then from there, like start creating a slide deck. All right. So we should be able to, we should be able to create a slide deck from the GitHub. I've created the slide deck in slide deck MD. I wonder if, can you open up? So it's going to convert it into now, I think. So basically what we've done is we've taken that slide deck that we created, coded it out using this free AI coder, and then converted it into HTML. And let's see if this works. So would you like me to open the file for you? I'm going to put yes. And then it's going to run that command. Boom. There we go. And that is the slide deck. I wouldn't say the UI is the best in the world, if I'm honest with you. But did we just create a slide deck from the GitHub, open the project, code it out for free, etc.? Yeah, that was really easy. I want to say, can you make the UI of this project more beautiful? W says, everything you imagine is possible. Yeah, that's true, actually. You got to bear in mind, like, I don't even code. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I can code now with this AI agent. So. If I can do it, anyone can do it pretty much. Let's see. So let's see if we can pre improve the UI of that presentation because that was pretty poor. All right, so it's looking slightly nicer. But now I'm going to say, okay, can you add some rainbow colors and the dopamine inducing design for the HTML file? For some reason, the first time I asked it to do this, it just redesigned the theme for itself. So let's see what we get back now. And you can see it's using Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is the API that it's using to generate this. I think we get like maximum 60 commands per hour, which is like one per minute, which is probably about right. If you're creating something, I don't think you're going to use more commands than that. I like the fact that you can take files locally so you can like navigate to a folder and then convert all the files in that directory to PNG, for example. Or organize my PDF invoices by a month of expenditure. So it can actually interact directly with your system, if that makes sense, like with your local laptop. So it struggled and now I switched from 2.5 Pro to Gemini 2.5 Flash. I'm guessing everyone's just rinsing it right now. The only thing I wonder about this is if you're, if you're just coding out something like a HTML file, wouldn't you just use AI Studio? Like, why are you going to use this? Do you know what I mean? especially if it's so slow. If I was coding the same thing inside AI Studio, it's probably going to get done within 30 seconds, something like that. Look at this. It's broken. If you press escape, you can stop it, I think. 
So let's say, okay, switch back to Gemini Typo 5 Pro. It's still trying to generate style sheets. It did not take long to break it. So I think that's probably the, let's have a look. All right, we're going to go back, try to go back to main. What I'm actually going to do is we'll request, if you press control and C, you can cancel the request. All right, so you can see here request canceled. So code out a SEO calculator. Let's see if it can do that. Why has it gone back to integrating style sheets? Madness. I might have to close it down and then start again, I think, at this point. All right, let's quit that. Let's try it again, my friends. So it's good for you to see this because, okay, it's not perfect. It does have some bugs. Nobody shows you this stuff on YouTube, but I'll show you. So let's try again. All right, so we should be good to go now. Let's see, see if we can just do basic tasks again. Ah, it's totally crashed. It must be everyone is rinsing it. I think that's the problem. So it's switched back to Flash now. The problem is, if you don't know this already, if you're using Flash, like it's just not as good as Gemini 2.5 Pro, if that makes sense. But I'm going to say, okay, go ahead, but make sure the UI is as dopamine inducing as possible. So now it's working. So basically, if you have any errors, just shut it down, run the git clone command again, and then you can start coding again. It seems to work okay. I think the main thing is like the API for Gemini 2.5 Pro is being rinsed. And so it may switch over to Flash instead, which means worse outputs, but faster responses. And there we go. Let's see if this, oh, there we go. So we've got the ROI calculator ready to go. Let's calculate the ROI. That's looking good. Coded out perfectly, launched it in the command. It wasn't that fast, but it did the job. And that is also saved locally. Plus it's running on a local host. So pretty cool. Not bad at all. So you now know how to set up Gemini COI, how it works, what to do if you have any problems, how to make sure that it doesn't just code, but also runs that in your browser too, and how to do all of this for free. Now, if you want the video notes from today, including like how to set up, etc., feel free to get that inside the AI success lab link in the comments description. You can grab the notes and the links right there. Additionally, inside here, we have loads of different stuff. You can see like we even have a five hour AI agents course in there. It's pretty insane and loads of other stuff right here. Additionally, inside the community, we're just giving away free stuff every single day. So if you're not in there, you're missing out. Like you can see all these different free giveaways that we give away every single day. And additionally, you also get a hundred different AI SEO tools plus all of this other stuff right here. So feel free to get that link in the comments in the description. If you create any apps or anything like that inside the terminal with the code assist, then all you do is you navigate to the directory. You've got all the files inside that directory folder and you would just upload it to Netlify or something like that and just get it hosted. And that's the easiest way to do it. Now, if you want to connect with me personally, feel free to connect with me inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This is an awesome community where we're just constantly helping people, very active, focused on making more money and saving you time. The price actually goes up at 850 members. We're at 847 right now, so make sure you sign up before you miss out. You can see the price goes up right here. And additionally, inside there, it's got all of my best trainings, courses, etc., including how I automate myself on YouTube, right? So if you check out a lot of my best videos recently, they're all generated using my AI avatar process, which is inside the AI Profit Boardroom, along with some new tutorials that we pretty much add every single week. You can see all these different NA10 templates and workflows as well that we have inside here. And additionally, we actually have three live coaching calls per week inside the AI Profit Boardroom, right? So if you want to get live coaching, if you want to get support, if you want to just connect with the community and meet a bunch of people who are interested in the same stuff, Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Additionally, if you want to just become a client of ours and just get us to automate all this stuff for you, feel free to book in an AI strategy session link in the comments description. On that call, we can basically look at your business, look at your time, figure out what to delegate with you, and then basically automate and implement that process for you, right? So if you're like, okay, 
I just want you to implement a NA10 process for me or set up some NA10 AI agents, etc. We can do that for you using the processes inside here. Link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. -bye.